welcome. Sandor and I are your worst nightmare. Surrender now. I bet you weren't even like 2% scared. You are probably watching this like at your house and you're staring at a screen right now that you can pause. What am I even trying to say? So before we even sniff the Ice Storm Island expansion pack, yeah, that was a weird way to say it. I want to buy an egg. Make sure to subscribe and like. So a few weeks ago, it might have been a month now, I did a poll where I asked you guys to choose a dragon for me and you guys were such amazing people and did just that. The person who won that was, drumroll please, is that a good drumroll? I don't even know. The Scatterclaw. Don't worry, I'm gonna try to get every single dragon, so whatever dragon you suggested or voted for will be coming very very soon, but for today, the Scatterclaw did win. A lot of people did also suggest the Screaming Death, which is always one of my favorites as well, but I did get that from a battle event on my main account, so I'm kind of hoping that I get that also on this account because that'll save a lot of gems, plus it's a bit more expensive than the other ones. So let's just go into the shop. I also saw a lot of people suggesting like the Death Song or the Razor Whip. The reason why I'm not gonna do those dragons Dragons is because you can get them from expansion packs so you know from all these expansion packs you get a dragon so I didn't want to do those dragons that you can get because I'm also going to be doing all those expansion packs where is the beautiful Gargoyle here it is for 500 oh my god that is actually a lot I thought it was cheaper than that what is this oh but the Gargoyle is so cute like it's like a baby deadly netter and I love deadly netter so much and they're really fast as well okay you know what I'm just gonna buy it okay one Gargoyle egg yes Bought that. Okay, so that is beautiful. We can also buy another egg, but we'll save that for now. Okay, we're gonna head down over here and put the egg. Ooh, oh, I forgot that I had a Typhoon You know what, Scatterclaw is our first priority. I want the Scatterclaw, I'm sorry. But don't worry, we oh, look at Typhoon Meringue's right there. We'll just pretend that's ours. Oh, there's also a Screaming Death. Can I just take these? They're just flying around. Like, who's their owner? I can be the owner. Velka, any thoughts? Okay, let's head back to the Ice Storm Island. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so we are at the Ice Storm Island right now. We have our clothes all equipped. We will light the campfire because we're amazing. Hiccup or the archaeologist? Let's do the archaeologist. We did two quests from Hiccup last time. Light the fire in the camp. I literally just did that. Okay. And a lot of XP as well. That's really good. So if you guys haven't seen the last video for the Ice Storm Island expansion pack, go check that out. I did many videos so you guys can catch up with that. Ah, that's better. The Arctic is a difficult place to live. The temperatures are extreme, and during the winter, it stays dark day and night. This period without daylight is called a polar night. Due to the axle tilt of the Earth, the sun does not rise here for about one month in the winter. Wow, guys, we're learning as we go. I'm not reading this. We already get this. The lack of sunlight during the winter can be quite disheartening. It would be nice to spend some time somewhere south of here. In fact, I would love to visit School of Dragons. Okay, we have to meet him at the school. It's a very beautiful place. Okay, where is he at? Okay, so I'm flying. Where is he? Oh, he's next to the headmaster. I'm very excited to be here. I was just speaking to the headmaster and admiring the great hall. This place is quite impressive. It's hard enough to believe that Vikings are living peacefully with dragons, let alone training them. Click on me and lead me to the hatchery so I can see it with my own eyes. Yep, it is quite a beautiful place. And as you know, I am the leader of this, so it's all me. Don't think it was anybody else. It was literally just me. Okay, I'm lying. Also, why do you have such a small radius? Very slow. Hello? Like, look. When I'm running, you can't even keep up with me. Okay, I'm taking him to the hatchery. Okay, to the lab now. Okay, come on. Right here, you can literally see it. I don't need to be guiding you. There's a huge sign that says lab. Yep, cool. Meet the archaeologist in Burke. Oh my god, Thunder is like about to eat him. Okay, let's go to Burke. Okay, where is he? Is he up here? Yes, he is. Okay, so much talking. To the shore? What? That is so far away and this guy has the smallest radius ever this is gonna take literally three years oh my god honestly i think we've got to speed this up Oof, we are so close right now. This is taking way too long. I cannot believe I am doing this right now. Please, this guy is so annoying. He can literally see me, but apparently I have to be in this tiny little radius, and it's very ridiculous. Okay, we're literally at the shore. Where do you want to go? Hello. We are here. Why am I still walking around? Okay, 
Ugh, we seriously walked all this time and you just wanted to tell me a little story about when you were a boy. I literally do not care. Goodbye, I'm going to Ice Storm Island. Okay, we're back at Ice Storm Island and here he is. Okay, and that was it. Ooh, Thunder, I got a level up. What level is she? Level 11. Oh, wait, did I get a level up? I don't even know. Someone did. Okay, well... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe, probably not next video, maybe the video after that, I will hatch the Scarter Claw and make it an adult because I'm going to hatch it and then have to do battle events to level it up. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!